out on the 30th of last month education cabinet secretary ezekiel machogo has already warned the head teachers against this saying they will face the consequences as shadrach, shadrach miti reports while the government is keen on ensuring a successful 100% transition at all levels of learning, it appears there is some level of struggle in achieving the same at a junior secondary. This is after it emerged that about 300,000 grade 7 learners are yet to report to school. We see ourselves within the first 14 days by the course of the week next week, we should have made sure that every child is in school and ensuring that the government policy of 100 percent so far we have registered for a monday uh, about 900 uh, uh, 900 almost getting to a million there are 201,000 uh, students who have not been able to register in any of the junior secondary schools that statement by the Minister of Education follows revelations that primary school head teachers have been colluding with parents to falsify learners' information in order to aid in the transfer of grade 7 learners to class 8, a move the government has termed illegal. Please not take shortcuts because doing anything like that is taking a shot and it is an illegality. And any of the schools and parents who will be caught up in this issue then we shall apply the law as is required because we are compromising on our children. We are not giving them an opportunity to be themselves. Let's give them an opportunity to be children and grow through the process that a child will grow. While clarifying that the National Education Management Information System NEMIS will be used to arrest any of such cases, Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Machogo said any movement of any learner between grades must be informed by the data in NEMIS portal and that any attempt to jump learners through grades contravenes their right. CBC is an age-appropriate uh, type of learning that you are expected at a certain age to be learning certain content and acquiring certain skills and competencies. So when we jump them through that process, we are messing them up. And uh, age-appropriate education is what has been adopted across the world. So that when kids move, we shall be knowing that these are nine-year-old, and a nine-year-old is supposed to be at this level of learning. The registration of students is done uh, right from standard one, uh, grade one, uh, and uh, each and every year, we make sure that we update that particular data. So the people who were in standard seven last year who have gone to standard eight, they are properly captured under the miss. Say that any parent transferring his or her child to another school, probably from level seven to eight, that uh, will not be acceptable. Mm. And within the NEMI system, it will not be accepted, it will not be captured. The details of illegal transfer of grade 7 learners to class 8 emerged through a circular by Education Principal Secretary Belio Kipsang, which talked of tricks being employed by school heads to register grade 7 learners in class 8 as candidates for Kenya Certificate of Primary Education, KCPE. Meanwhile, the Minister of Education says from one admission has been impressive, with just about 200,000 learners out of the 1.24 million who sat KCP last year yet to report to school. Shadra Miti, KT News. Family, Nikujengana. It is about traveling through life together, growing and supporting each other, trusting each other with our dreams, and never giving up on one another. Family is about going all the way with you. That is why we are here to help you grow your biashara by accessing loans, investment.